The goal of this model is to present how Inventive can uh, model and uh, do a statistical analysis of a seed slider uh, composed of a female and male profile uh, guided by balls, uh, rails of balls. There are four rails of balls and uh, we want to study what are going to be the um, contact points between balls and the guiding rails and also what are going to be the deformations that are going to be necessary in the mechanism according to the tolerances. So first thing I'm going to load the profile called uh, female profile. That's going to be our uh, female uh, guide profile. Secondly, I'm going to load the male profile. Okay, so this male profile I just load it like this and going to change its uh, color as well. Okay, and then third, uh, I'm going to load uh, four instances of the balls. So I'm just saying I load ball one time, uh, two, three, and then four. Okay, I'm going to change the color of those balls, so I'm going to display them in uh, black color. Uh, okay, the second one is going to be this one. I'm going to change it as well in uh, black. Uh, next one is this one. Okay, and uh, the last one is this one. So we can say first that uh, those axes here are going to be parallel to the base axis of the uh, guiding rail. All those axes are going to be parallel to this axis. And uh, second thing, uh, those uh, balls here are, go are going to be tangent to the female profile. So this, this one comes here, this one comes here. Okay, so uh, we are going to have some tangency constraint on the left side, on the top side then one here on the left side, one here on the bottom side. Okay, then when this is done we can load, we can uh, make the, f the male profile a little bit closer to the walls and we can say this is going to be tangent to this, this is going to be tangent to this and then we are going to have tangency between this and this. So when I do that you can see that the system is calculating automatically the contact points between the male profile and the balls. So last thing we can bring about the last ball that should be in contact with the male profile here and then it's also going to be in contact here on the top. So based on this uh, assembly we can measure now with the tangent dimension with this button between the ball and the right side of the slider what is going to be uh, the interference so this interference is the amount of deformation that we will need to have on the female slider so that the uh, mounting is possible. So we can do a tolerance analysis on it and the system is uh, going to tell us what are going to be the maximum and minimum variation of this uh, value of uh, deformation according to all the tolerances uh, on the female profile, on the male profile and also on the, on the balls. So what's interesting is that everything here is computed mathematically in this model. Contact points, also the orientation of the uh, male uh, profile in relation to the horizontal axis or horizontal base of the female slider. We can just select this angle, do a tolerance analysis on it, and we see what is going to be the statistical variation of this angle from 87 degrees to 92 degrees. So this could be something useful to um, properly define the, the orientation of a component that is going to be mounted on the, the male slider of this uh, device.